Hi, and hope you are doing well. I'm Jadi, and I want to talk about the Warp Terminal emulator. I used to be a user of Warp. It has some nice features and some strange things that some people may even hate. But uh, I was not using it on my as my daily terminal emulator, not because the thing that people hate, but because uh, it was not available on Linux, and I prefer to have one program running on all my systems. Now they've announced that they are available on Linux, and you can download a dev package or a RPM package. So let's talk about what. But what is a terminal emulator? This is our terminal emulator, the black screen where hackers type their commands and get back their answers. I tell you, can be in other colors too, but black is the our preference. No, it's not. I will show you. On Warp, you can change the colors for sure. Just kidding. Anyway, this is the terminal emulator. You write your commands, you get back the answer, and it's in a text mode. Why we call this a terminal? Because in the old computers, we used to have a screen here, a CRT, and a keyboard. They were connected to a server. You type the commands, it goes to the server, return back, and you will see on the screen what is the result. This was the terminal. In these days, we don't have those bulky machines, which were only terminals, and we have terminal emulators, like this software. This is called Terminator, I believe. Here, we write commands, we get back answers, we do configurations, whatever we want to do happens here. If you are in a Unix world, if you are in a professional server world, if you are in a Linux world, BSD world, most of the professional systems work like this. Even nowadays, Windows is adding more and more power to its terminal because it's very high performance, it's easy, you have access to everything instead of going to dirt, clicking on blah, blah, then right-clicking, then choosing this field, entering, clicking save. You can just issue commands directly and whatever is controllable on your system can happen from here. And it's easy to connect to thousands of different systems, jump from one to another, issue one command on all of them using systems like, for example, Ansible and these kind of stuff. So command line rules. But this command line should happen in a terminal emulator. We have different terminal emulators, very simple ones, extensive ones, ones with lots of whistles and everything. Now we have warp also on the Linux. It's easy to try. You can download deb or RPM and install it. And if you are in a, on a uh, Mac machine, you can also download for the Mac and install. On a Linux machine, I use the package i from downloads warp terminal. I install it. Now I have warp. I can run it. Uh, as you can see, I have lots of terminal emulators UX term, warp, western, XFC, Alacrity, the console, and others. It's fun to test different things. One thing which some people may hate about Warp is you need to log in first. Why in the hell I should log in into my terminal emulator? They say because it syncs things, it goes through the browser, logs in with using my, uh, what do you call it? Google account. And then it asks me, what does best describes you? Someone who doesn't want to give more info, what I have to. I heard about you on the internet. I skipped this one. I cannot skip this one. It is a little bit annoying to feel all of these things to be able to use a terminal. But at the end, this is warp running beautifully. What is different here? I can say uptime. I can say... I don't know, cat, etc. hosts. Oh, it's not showing some of my important data here. This is cool. I will show you later. Again, I can say, for example, 
uh, PSEFWC-L. How many processors are running on my computer? 400. This is nice. Uptime. You see? It's nice. Here, for example, I can say, I click here. This is a block. In most of the uh, terminal emulators, maybe all of them, the block is the whole thing here. But on warp and the history. But on warp, each command is a different block. This is kind of cleaner. Also, I can say, for example, copy this command. Copy the output. Copy all of this thing. Because I'm working every day in this thing. And I need to share some commands, some outputs with my team. This is much easier than scrolling, clicking and everything. I can even go to the share here and directly share this thing. And this will give me a new link or I can get an embedded link and paste it somewhere to be embedded in an article or anything. This is another nice feature. Or for example, if I do ls temp, for example, this is another block. I can select this block and say, okay, filter only whatever which has 44 in it. It says, okay, these lines do have 44. And my SSDM authentication had a code which is removed from here. This is nice. I will show you another good thing about warp, which I activate by default. So you can filter these things and lots of other things. For example, I can do a search. I can do a... Uh, for example, search for something. I say search for 16. It says, okay, there is one 16 here, one here. I can say, no, I just want to search in this block, in the active block or in any other block. This makes many, many parts of life much easier. It also has some fancy things pre-installed in it. There is a fun command, which is called the fuck. If you issue a command by mistake, a typo or something, you can type the fuck and it guesses what you mean. Here it's pre-installed. So for example, if I say, for example, uh, what should I say? Pin 4224, it will give you an error, but the fuck will say, did you mean ping the IP, which I'm hiding for your privacy? I say, yes, I meant this. Okay, this is bad. It didn't work because it was hiding the IP and issued the same. Because this is not part of warp. This is part of the uh, the fuck command. This one. Anyway, so these are kind of fun and helpful. You can also go with uh, all the settings. There are lots and lots and lots of settings you can change. And you can see it shows the main window I was using. And when I'm choosing a new team, item, I'll see it in the actual environment I was working in. So this is also nice. This groove box is good. And as you saw, I just installed it. I logged in and it knows my configurations and using whatever I need. This is one part of the story. Also something else which I really like, especially on Mac, is the possibility to have this global hotkey. I can define a hotkey and use a small warp window there. I'm on my browser, I push my hotkey and I have one small scrolling down fancy quick like uh, screen which I can use for my comments. So this is another fun thing. Also there is this thing here which is called warp drive. Here you can save some commands, use them. It's like a workflow for me. It's like a notebook. I can say, okay, I need this command. It says, okay, this is an example. But whenever you choose that, this will be here. Or you can have something more complicated. You can say, kill the process running on a port. And it says, okay, I need this command, but you should provide me the port. So you can have some things here. I have the same thing in Obsidian, my Linux one-liners. All of them can be moved here and can be shared between all my devices. Also, obviously, you have the tabs. You can divide the screen. You can create like this, create different parts in your screen. 
and everything else or if you press ctrl shift p i believe command p on mac you can run practically whatever is there using command line for example if you say split different splits if you say kill the same thing i had in my notes or in my drive it says kill the process running okay run this this is also very nice i created a new tab you can also go with log network log show warp network log it shows you whatever it is doing with the warp server here you can make sure that it's not sending whatever you are not intended to send to the word server it shows what it's sending over the network kind of good but again if they really want to hide something they can not show it here although there's a slash f on this log file what else is fun i'll show you these secrets disable secret redaction now i can say ping 4224 and it will show me the actual ips if i'm streaming i can say enable secret redaction and now it won't be here which is nice or for example even if i ssh to a server i say ssh to ocean on this port i have an ancient server on uh ocean servers normally if i do this you can see what i'm typing if you are very 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 sharp and you can see the ip here but because i'm war i'm on warp this is hidden so this is a new terminal with nice ideas the major one is having blocks instead of the whole history and on the other side it's a nice try from a group to reinvent rethink the terminal and create a company around it it's kind of expensive uh for me at least it's surprisingly expensive i think it's something in the range of yes 12 dollars per member per month but it has nice features for free too I'm not sure if I told you it has the fuck, which is fun, and the fact that even when you are SSHing to somewhere, it can still work with the blocks is impressive. It's a very difficult thing to do if you are a programmer. Uh, and also you had the the fuck thing. So if you write something, for example, D package G dash I down, it says okay, this was wrong, but maybe you mean this. But even more than this you have the ai help here you can say i want some ai help it will tell you what's the problematic how can you fix it you can even chat with it and say different things or even here you can, can say how can i partition my disk something broken f disk blah 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 and you can check different uh commands so you have kind of an ai thing to chat with on a free plan you can ask only 20 times a day on a paid plan i think 100 times or something for me the downsides cons are the fact that this is uh closed source it's terminal if you have a choice I prefer to use an open source software if I can. It's safer. I'm doing a good thing. I can understand it. I can improve it and everything. Uh, and it, it needs my account. This is also not considered that fun. It's different that I'm used to. I'm kind of always swinging between something. When I'm negative, I say bloated or feature rich if I'm positive and a most simplistic suckless tool i can do most of these things using some scripts tmax in an x term or even smaller things ux terminal or whatever on a positive side i really 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 like the idea of a group of programmers trying to reinvent the 
terminal also try to earn money by reinventing the terminal these are cool for me and it's in rust nowadays everything is in gpu i cannot totally understand why i need a gpu power terminal i understand because if i have lots of output this would be faster but again i if i having if i'm having thousands of lines tens of thousands of line of output this is not a good thing for the command is not good anyway i hope you liked it i was going to record this video and saw that there is a referral uh so if you use this referral to download if only one of you does this i will get an extended exclusive term very nice for 10 i will get a t-shirt for 100 i will get a soft shell jacket nice idea i swear to whatever you believe or i believe i never thought about this thing when i started recording it i was happy that now we have this on linux and i can try it more and that's it i think you can explore more it has lots and lots and lots of features enjoy it the good point for me is keeping the fun up trying different ideas different things and see how it goes great job warp guys hope you succeed in earning money from a terminal that would be the dream job have fun